Hey everybody, Mike this here with Bill with Grace. Thanks for watching my channel. Love to have you join me. Today's verse comes from Psalm chapter 61, verse 2, which says, From the ends of the earth I cry to you for help. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock of safety. We're not sure where David wrote this psalm, but it certainly seems as though he's writing it from a place physically or emotionally, maybe spiritually, uh, separated, uh, alone, um, frustrated, discouraged. Uh, in verse 1, he says, listen to my cry, hear my prayer. And now he's saying, from the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help. Again, whether that means physically that he's you know going all over the earth, or whether it just means he's looking for God everywhere and can't find him. But then he says, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock for safety. I don't know about you, but I get overwhelmed a lot of times. I look around at the way of the world is. I look at my finances. I look at uh, other issues in my life. And I get overwhelmed. It's just like, I don't know how I can go on. But the beauty is, this verse says, David says, even King David, the man after God's own heart, and he says, I'm overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. And, and it's almost like he implies... I'm overwhelmed, I'm at the end of my rope, I'm at the end of the earth, and I can't find you, where are you, God? Have you ever felt like that in your prayer life? But then he goes on to say, and this is what we need to remember in our lives, and that is, he goes on to say, lead me to the towering rock for safety. You know, when I read that verse, I think about in, in Wyoming, there's a, a, a rock outcropping called the Devil's Tower, and it just kind of sticks up out of nowhere. You can see it for miles around. And I almost envision David uh, visioning something like that. Of there, There's a place that I can go for safety. It's a towering rock. I can see it. I just need to get to it. I don't know how to get there to that place of safety. But then he says, but please lead me to that place of safety. Lead me into your arms. Lead me into the place where I can feel your presence again. In our prayer life, let me encourage you, continue to seek him, continue to ask him to lead you uh, into that rock of safety. He is our place of safety, our place of refuge, our place where we can always count on him being there. Have a great day again. Thanks for following my channel, and we'll talk to you next time.